Hi, I'm Sean Jacobs, one of the systems architects here at Protected Trust, and in this video I wanted to go over uh, how you can restrict some of the verification options that are available to users for performing multi-factor authentication in Office 365. Um, you may remember, uh, if, you're, if you're using multi-factor authentication, you may remember when you first uh, set it up, you were provided with a, a few different options. So you were provided with an option to uh, perform a, a text code to my authentication phone or to notify me through the app or to use verification code from app or token. Um, what I would recommend doing, and, and especially uh, uh, for security reasons, is to actually remove the option to get a text code to my authentication phone. The reason that we recommend doing that is to help prevent uh, against certain types of attacks uh, called SIM swap attacks, where uh, a malicious actor will uh, spoof someone's phone number or uh, maybe, for example, uh, actually port someone's phone number away from their phone um, so that they can uh, use that to authenticate to uh, an account. And by removing that option, it removes that, that potential security hole. Uh, and uh, it's something we recommend doing. In general, we recommend using the uh, Microsoft Authenticator app. It's definitely the, the easiest way to uh, perform multi-factor authentication in Office 365. So removing that option to, to do it via a text message is in general a good idea. Um, in order to do that, uh, as an administrator, you would want to log in to the admin portal at admin.microsoft.com. And then under users, go to active users. And then there's an option that you should see here for multi-factor authentication. So we're going to select multi-factor authentication, which is going to open in a separate window here for us. And then up here, we have an option for service settings. So we want to select service settings. And if we scroll down towards the bottom here, here are, here are the methods available to us for verification options. So what we want to do is essentially only use the notification through the mobile app. So if we uh, remove text message to phone, um, then the only method that would be available essentially at this point would be uh, through the mobile app. If you're using hardware tokens or if you want to also allow uh, your users to authenticate to their 365 account by typing in that six digit code that appears uh, on the mobile app, then we can leave that enabled, but we definitely want to remove the option for text message to phone. And that's pretty much it. After, after making those changes and saving it, um, then when users uh, log in to the option for uh, or when they're initially setting up their security verification, they will no longer get that option to, uh, to provide uh, a text code to my authentication phone. And that just improves your security uh, a little bit more. And that's it. Have a good day.